yeah I went to jail for the first time last weekend and it was not fun at all new vlog new me who it is i finally came on camera and don't look crazy um but yeah so um i haven't really been doing much since la honestly i really kind of just been chilling and you know being low-key so it hasn't been much to really record you know i've just been working um and chilling so um yeah finally we have something that we can talk about so today is the day for my event from likes to leads i'm hosting with my friend kenny J, also known as kendrick jones and he's an insurance guru um but yeah we're doing this event just to show people how to master social media for their brand or for their business um so right now i'm waiting for my makeup artist to come here so she can do my makeup and she just got here Hi, she's coming in now. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Hola. Bye now. Bye. Yes. <laughs> and so we're about to get ready to do my makeup for the event. Um, and then yeah, I gotta get to the event, do some content, and then it starts at eleven. It ends at one. And so after that, we're probably gonna go to brunch with some professionals. So we're going to have kind of a long day. I'm sad because I think it's supposed to rain today. And I'm hoping that it doesn't rain or do nothing too crazy. But yeah. So I will show you guys my outfit once my makeup is done and everything is all set. Y'all, I'm having a wardrobe malfunction. My whole entire outfit, the zipper just broke and it's on the side and it's noticeable. So this is a transparency moment that sometimes things go to shit, but you got to keep going. <laughs> but thank you for having me fix my, my outfit. Hopefully it looks good. I'm really about to have a meltdown right now and I'm trying not to. <sighs> so yeah. Y'all, it's not really what I ordered, but they accommodated, so I'm not mad. <laughs> hey, you guys! So I'm at home. My event today was definitely successful. Um, I have no complaints. Like everybody came out, they showed love. We did great with the event. Um, and I'm super duper happy about that. Now, granted, I know you guys saw my wardrobe malfunction. So the jumpsuit I got from Fashion Nova and I got it in a 2X, which is normally my normal size. And being that it was strapless, I didn't want to get in a 3X because I'm not top heavy. And so I got the 2X and I was like, oh, this is going to be safe. You know, everything's going to be good. And it came and it fit. Now, when it first came, I realized that the zipper wasn't trying to come up. So what I said, I'm going to just zip it all the way up and then just, you know, kind of like jump into it. <sighs> After she did my makeup today, and I tried to get into that outfit, and I wasn't rushing, you know. I mean, I still was on a limited time, but I wasn't rushing like I normally would. And I tried to get into that jumpsuit, and the whole zipper just stopped at the top, and then it just bust open. And I was like, oh, my God. I don't have that much time. And I was just like, if this doesn't fit, I really just have to put on, like, a black church dress and go. And that wasn't the vibe that I was trying to go for. So, luckily, um, my makeup artist, she helped me to pin it together from the inside, sewed it up a little bit, and I got to my event five minutes early. Now, granted, that wasn't the ideal time, but I still made it, so I'm happy about that. And I was a little flustered at first, but... I got through it. Kenny got me outside for a minute or two so I could calm down before the event. Um, and then we actually, you know, had a little bit of waiting time to wait for, like, you know, all of our guests to come in and stuff. So 
everything still worked out so i'm happy about that um but yeah i can't complain we had a great evening um everyone said they left you know with a lot of knowledge and they're ready to you know go full throttle with their businesses and their brands and i'm just happy to hear that i personally impacted someone else you know within their business um and that kenny was able to be aside me along the way and of course um kj also known as the black box editor um to help assist and sponsor our event as well and we we did a make y'all so i didn't get to show you guys my outfit but um this is my dress it's from fashion nova <laughs> surprisingly but i actually really love this dress so i have no complaints but that black jumpsuit it done put a bad taste in my mouth about Fashion Nova, child. And the crazy thing is, you can't really return it because y'all know how Fashion Nova be. But anyway. So, yeah. So, I got this cute dress from Fashion Nova. I had some heels on from Shein. They broke too, y'all. I forgot to tell y'all that. So, granted, they lasted all day and until I got home. But I felt like, you know, towards the end of the day that... I was kind of limping on my right foot, like the heel just didn't feel right. I got home and flipped it over. The heel was coming out the fucking socket. So, um, yeah, these these brands and everything is just pissing me off today. But it still was a great day. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I wore this dress afterwards and I love it. This is one of my favorite dresses and I've been dying to wear it. And it's long. Oops. <laughs> it's long um, and it goes to the floor, if you guys can see. So yeah, but, and I got these cute little earrings from a uh, black owned boutique here in Charlotte. I can't remember the name. If I do, I'll put it here, but I doubt I remember, but, um, yeah, they were really cute and I was just supporting a black owned business, but it went with the dress really, really well. Um, and yeah, my makeup still looks good despite being out all day. My ponytail looks good. Shout out to Kilo. Um, and yeah, this was the fit, so. I'm waiting for my friends to get here, so we're just going to chill um, and, you know, play some games or watch some TV, movies and stuff, eat snacks, order some pizza, just some cute stuff to end the night in the house without having to, like, go out clubbing or anything like that. So, stay tuned. Hopefully, I'll get a little bit of footage, but if I don't, I'll see you guys tomorrow and I'll probably be making some content. Sunday mornings. Good morning. Have to speak victory. Pass me the. Pass don't need to do that. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal Hall. If you're new here, and if you're not new here, what's up, girl? I think it's actually time for me to start a slogan for my YouTube. Like, what do y'all want to call yourselves? Like, you know, Team Styles, the KS Bosses. Psych, I don't like that. But we need to find a cute slogan that goes hand in hand with me and what I do um but also something that's cute and catchy anyway so I just ordered some food some dinner I ordered some PF Shane's um and so I'm about to eat that so I don't even know why I started recording because I'm hungry as hell but I did want to show you guys this before I forgot um well I wanted to show y'all something I'm gonna show you in a minute but I also got some um some Jenny's ice cream oh my god this is my favorite so if you live in Charlotte and you haven't had Jenny's ice cream, you're you're tripping because this Jenny's ice cream busts. Oh, it busts. I have to make sure this won't mess up. But yeah, gooey butter cake from Jenny's. What? Buzz. If you ever had ooey gooey butter cake and you're like from St. Louis, then you already know this busts because I'm not even from St. Louis and that shit busts. Real ooey gooey butter cake is good too. Um, oh, this is nice. 
I'd be so scared to try other flavors just because I know this one is so good. I feel like if I try something else and then I don't like it, it's going to piss me off. And then I'm going to be upset as a whole. So I just, I just stick to what I know right now. Maybe one day I'll grow up though. Maybe, maybe one day I'll grow up. But yeah, I got that. So my mom, um, you know, she's always gifted me different things. And so I'm going to show y'all everything else she got me for Easter. And then like a few things that she had got me for Valentine's Day. But she did, she knew she wasn't going to see me for Valentine's Day. So she didn't like go crazy. But she made me an Easter basket. She made my brother an Easter basket too. We're just some big kids. But let's, let me show you what she got. So she knows... Well, I don't even think she knows, honestly, but if you are my friend and you're around me in Charlotte, you might know that I'm into sushi right now, diff like trying different sushis and stuff, because I was doing really well at this, but I was trying to stop eating like meat, like pork and beef, um, and I was doing good at it and just only eating like chicken and seafood, which is what I like to eat the most of as well. So I was trying different... Um, different sushis and going to different sushi spots in charlotte and so my mom got me these chopsticks i don't really think she knows she really just got them because it has hello kitty up there which is fine because i love hello kitty if you guys didn't know but um they're chopsticks and i thought this was so cute and they're of course reusable i'm actually gonna wash them and use them tonight for my pf chain so i order some sushi ah! but yeah so um, and I guess to clean them, you just take them out the thing and then stick it back in there. That is so cute. Ah. Okay. But yeah, that's cute. And then also, she got me a pack of Hello Kitty ramen noodles. This is so cool. I don't think it's made by ramen. Um, I guess it's made by Prince Cat Soup. But it's Hello Kitty chicken noodle soup. And I thought this was really cool. Really cool chicken noodle soup. But, I mean, I'm probably going to try them and do a review sometime this week. But I just thought this was so dope. Like, I don't even know where she got this from. But, um, yeah. They say they're best by May 11th of this year. So, I'm going to have to go through these kind of quickly. Because that's, that's literally like in less than a month. Maybe she got them on sale. Anyway. But yeah. So, shout out to my mom for that. Um, she also stocked me up on a lot of household items. So, I'm appreciative of that. I got a Fenty um, PR package. And I know y'all probably like, girl, you're doing all of this in the kitchen. I mean, why not? You know. Ooh. Let's see what I got. I'm going to just drop this on the floor. I need to sweep anyway. Oh, this is cute. Cute little salmon colored type of panties. Now, this is my type of panty. Now, I know y'all probably like crystal, them grandma panties. But for real, like, Monday through Friday, I'm just, especially if I work from home, I'm just chilling. Like, I'm comfortable. I'm a big girl, too. So, like, this is the type of panties that I be on. Like, y'all can have that thong stuff. Now, granted, I found some great thongs from Walmart I need to put y'all on, too. But, anyway, these are cute. I like this. They're cute. The color is nice. Got a little razzle dazzle <laughs> with the lace. <laughs> but they're cute though. I'll wear that to like lounge in and stuff like that. Um, and then it comes with the bra. Now, granted, on lazy days, I'll wear this because, you know, I'm not going to wear it once again. I'll wear these type of bras. I really do like them because they're comfortable. But I don't wear these type of bras like out because they don't have much support and I already have small boobs. So these bras like this, I mean, it'll probably just make me look like a little tomboy. So, um, but they are cute and comfortable. Like I would wear this to bed if I wanted to just feel a little good. But by myself, I would wear this. But this is a size 2X in the bra. And I think this, this is a 2X in the panties, too. And then they sent me another set. This is black. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is a sports bra. Oh, this is cute. I actually like this, y'all. This is really, really cute. And it's like a, a velvet material right here, if you guys can see that. And it feels really, really soft. I like that. Yep, Savage 
Savage X Fenty Sport. And then it just has the racer back. I like that. That's pretty cute. I wonder can you detach that if you wanted to. I think so. It's like a real small thin thread in between it. But yeah, it's that. And then these look like I want to use pants or shorts. Oh. Oh, these look like they're going to be tight. These are US 18. I know you lying. I just tried to stretch it. It didn't even move. Oh, this is tough. We're going to have to ease our way into these, child. Hopefully they fit. Because that's one thing about it. I like sports gear, um, like sports clothing, workout gear. <laughs> I really like workout gear that, like, conforms your body like snatches you up but when you just want to casually wear your you know your work your sports gear um like you know let's say go run some errands you know go up the street to the store and come back and you try to sit down in some sportswear it hurts your tummy well for me personally so sometimes i like them to be tight but i only wear them like to work out and get right out of them but we're gonna have to try these on but it has like the velvet material too it says savage right here on the edge um and it just has the pattern going all the way down so that's cute or whatever i like that we're gonna have to try it on though if not i'll probably sell it or something um but yeah y'all so <sighs> dang near and a half of what i gotta show y'all and tell y'all I'm, I'm just gonna save that for another day yeah we'll be back Hey you guys, so I told you guys I would be back to tell you what's going on in my life and give you some life updates. And here I am. Um, I'm just gonna jump into it like, this is my story. Yes, let's do a disclaimer first. <clears throat> this is my story. Um, I'm not perfect by any means and I don't proclaim to ever be perfect. Um, and I make mistakes just like the next person or the next person because once again, no one is perfect, right? Um, and so me sharing this is not for clout. Um, it's not for, oh, just because I make YouTube, I need content, you know? It's not for people to have something to talk about. It's literally me sharing my story. You guys want to know, I don't mind telling it, you know, in, in the sense of, you know, sharing a story to help benefit someone else. And so this is what I'm here to do. Um, so yeah. I went to jail for the first time last weekend and it was not fun at all. Now granted, you know, I went for something that was serious, but it wasn't something that was like totally like belligerent, if that makes sense. Um, I did get a DUI um, and I was arrested for drunk driving. So luckily I did not hurt anyone else in the process and um, you know, I was safe and um, anybody in the car with me was safe as well and I wasn't out of the you know I wasn't drunk to the point where I didn't I felt like I um, didn't like you know lose control of anything um, I swerved a little bit getting some chips <laughs> trying to eat and that's how I was pulled over and so from this whole you know conversation and from this experience which was very traumatic for me because let me remind you I'm a black woman um, and I'm in America and we've seen the movies, we've seen what's happened in real life to black people, um, you know, and their interactions with police and cops. And so that's what scared me the most. And, and that's crazy, right? How you could be, you know, consuming some alcohol or I guess you could say, you know, be a little bit tipsy or drunk. And as soon as you see the police, your first thoughts is that that's a part of why I'm telling my story because it's crazy. That was the first thing that I thought of. But nonetheless, the police officer was nice, and I'm, I'm thankful for that. Um, but back to it, th this situation has changed my perspective on a lot of things in life. Um, currently and right now, um, it's made me think that, you know, I have some inner work to do. And not just because I got caught, but just because it's like, wow, wh how did I get here? You know, being arrested and handcuffed, you know, put in a police car. And it's just like, that's not me, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
I'm not putting nobody down who has went through that just as I did. I'm just saying that's not who I am. You know, I'm meant for more. Um, I have a lot of goals and aspirations that don't involve going to jail. You know what I'm saying? Don't involve being arrested. So it's making me to analyze and look deeper into my life and in other areas as well to figure out what's causing me to get to the point where I feel like I have to be so lit and so drunk to have a good time or so lit and so drunk to me for me to forget things that I don't want to think about. Um, and, you know, it's crazy because people are like, you know, you should have stayed where you were, you know, or it's okay. Like, you know, it's your first DUI or I know plenty of people that get you DUI. That's cool. And what, meanwhile, you think that you're helping, you're not because you still don't know that half of what's going on. And of course, people are going to say, well, why don't you talk to somebody? And that's my plan. But I can't just sit and talk to everybody. Like, it's even certain things, even if I do talk, it still won't come out for the simple fact People judge, people run their mouths. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot that goes into it. So, me telling you guys this is just to learn. You know, please, first of all, do not drink and drive. I don't condone it, you know, and I don't make that my mission to ever do that ever again or to be in that predicament um, ever again. Um, but also, it's just like, if God is telling you to be still, be still. If God is telling you to move, if God is telling you to listen, listen. I feel like God had given me warning signs before this, you know, in small instances. Well, it's small to some, might be big to some, but in instances such as like me getting like two speeding tickets with like within three months span of each other and then getting a DUI the next month. So it's like, you know, you need to slow down. Maybe you need to sit still. Maybe you need to go out less. Maybe you need to focus more on certain things instead of doing this, that, and the third. Um, and so, this is a part of my journey, you know. Um, but I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> this, D, this, this, this situation is not going to stop me from having a good time, enjoying my life. I'm not saying that, like, oh, I'm just going to still drink and I'm going to still do this. No, I'm slowing down. But, like, right now, I'm about to give me some food. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not about to, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that. I had my couple days. To cry it out I had my couple days to vent it out I had my couple days to be sad about it but now I am turning over a new leaf and I'm deciding to okay it happened it's over we're gonna deal with the consequences and we're gonna move on to the next day um, and this situation has taught me that I have a lot of people that I love and that truly value me um, and it has also showed me that it's a few people that I wouldn't even reach out to again because it's like you know, they're not adding value to my life. Um, and so, now that we have this new era of realization, it's time to see what we're going to do about it. But yeah, you guys, that's my little spiel. It wasn't too much. Just thought I'd share. Let me know if this was helpful to you in any way. I also shared on my Instagram how it's time to grow. That is my new motto and my words for the remainder of this year is going to be discipline and reset um, and you know with my post I was very vulnerable because of, a lot of people expect a lot from me um, they look up to me they say I'm an inspiration and when I look in the mirror sometimes I don't always see that so this is just reminding me of who I am um, and what I need to get back to um, and just giving me motivation to do things so I can continue on my path and you know work on my my goals and my dreams so I hope this was helpful, but let's see what else, you know, the rest of this video brings you guys and just keep rocking with me. I promise. Toodles. Right, you guys, I'm not sure if you can see this outfit in full. Um, I've already made my reel with this outfit, but basically I'm doing a new segment on Instagram and on TikTok. Um, Fat Fashion Friday. And I'm also going to incorporate Tip C Tuesday, which is basically I'm going to give, um, fashion tips, life tips, um, while having like liquor, wine, alcohol. I'm not going to be drinking alcohol per, I just said that, but, um, I'm going to probably have like some cider or something like that. Something that's not cider, but, um, yeah, the fake, fake alcohol. Y'all get what I'm saying? Jesus Christ. Okay. So, 
Um, anyway, I already displayed this outfit, but this top is from a matching set from Shein, and these bottoms are from a matching set from Forever 21 Plus. Um, and I wear, I wore these in LA if you remember seeing them. And then these heels that I have on, well, they're like wedge heels. They're from Target. I wore these in LA as well. Um, and I just paired this look together. If you hear the wash machine going, it's because the matching top to the pants I have in there because it was a little wrinkled. Um, it's in the dryer, I meant, excuse me. But yeah, I'm going to wear it like this. But if I get a little chilly, I'm going to bring the top with me as well. Um, or if I feel like I'm going to somewhere where I don't feel like my top is presentable, I'll just take this off and put that top on or put it over me or whatever the case is. And then I'm going to pair this Louis Vuitton bag that my best friend gifted me um, and made for me um for my birthday last year or year before last and so this is the complete look for today but yeah oh and then i have one just some simple jewelry i forgot where i got these earrings from i think i got them from shein um and then i have on a ring um that my mom gifted to me so this is the look <laughs> Hey y'all, so I know it's probably been like a couple days, but it hasn't really been much going on. Just working, sleeping, getting by. Um, so I got my packages that I ordered something from Bath and Body Works literally just the other day. They were having a sale and it came pretty fast, honestly, and I didn't do express shipping or anything. Um, but yeah, so I got some single wick candles. They were only like $5 or six maybe, but that was a really good deal. So I just got five of those. And then, um, my birthday shoes came in from Miss, excuse me, Miss Lola. Um, so they sent me like the little card. Please excuse my hands and nails. My hands is ashy and I'm missing a nail. I got my nail appointment tomorrow, but um, it says I want to personally thank you for purchasing from Miss Lola. My goal is to always provide the best shopping experience for you. I want you to know that I really appreciate the love and support that you give us. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. I appreciate that. Thank you for being a part of the beautiful journey. Thought that was cute, but um... Yes, I'm a shoeaholic. No, I don't need help. That's cute. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? Uh, -uh I feel like y'all not clear. Okay, can y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see that. Anyway, child. Anyway, so I don't know if I want to show you guys what my birthday shoes look like or what, because I don't want to ruin like the surprise of my look okay okay i guess i can show y'all what the shoes look like because y'all still don't really know what the outfit looks like y'all don't know it all <sighs> so let's hope they fit <gasps> yes they are so beautiful the length of the heel is perfect y'all Oh my God, these are so beautiful. I love these, so different. I've never had a shoe like this. And y'all know I love me some orange, honey. Yes, okay, I'm gonna try these on cause these are super duper cute. I just got my toes done, so I might show y'all my feet. Give me a second. Y'all, yes, yes, yes. They are so cute. Oh my God. Like, they literally are so comfortable, and they're so cute. Like, yes. I got black toe polish because I'm feeling dark right now. <laughs> I was trying to be in a white toe ho. But, yes, these are so cute, guys. So, my outfit is really about to be super duper cute. I'm so excited to wear these. Oh, my God. I hope this lighting is serving them justice because these heels are so cute. Yes. Okay, I'm going to take them off because what your mama say before you... When you wearing your clothes too too long before you even really wear them, you better take them off or they get dirty. So I'm going to put these up. I'm so excited. Now I got to get some jewelry. Ah. Okay. And then I'm about to show you guys what type of candles I got. So I know I got two strawberry pound cake. Y'all know that's my absolute favorite in the whole wide world. But let me tell y'all what's next up. This motherfucking Fuji, Fiji, <laughs> Fuji, Fiji White Sands, Honey, baby. 
this scent smells so good to me. I really, really love this scent. So I got two of these and then I think I got one champagne toast. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's another Fuji Sands. Fuji Sands. Why I say Fuji? Fuji. It sounds like I'm almost trying to say my best friend name, Fumi. Fiji Sands. Get it together. I don't know which is which, but y'all know what these scents look like, God damn it. Shit, cause this stuff actually don't wanna open. Yeah, this is a strawberry pound cake. Oh, they put the cute white barn tops on these instead of, cause usually the single wigs come with the tops like these, like the canteen kind of tops. But this is cute. I guess they wanna be a little luxury with the smaller ones too. Yeah, y'all see me in the reflection, I look crazy. Okay. And then let's see if this is a champagne toast. It is. Oh, and the champagne toast is like that too. So I might put, well, I'll probably leave this out until I'm ready to use it. But I'm going to put one of these smaller ones in the bathroom too. Um, so, like, it can basically be a part of decor, but it can also be burned if needed. But, yeah, that's basically everything that I've gotten in the mail recently. I did have to reorder some more business cards, y'all, because my business cards were supposed to be here before my event, um, that me and Kenny held together a couple weeks ago. But instead of saying Chris Styles at the, well, instead of saying personal stylist at the bottom, um, so they can know exactly what I do from my business cards, it just says Chris Styles and Chris Styles again. So I had to get those sent back and then get the new batch, but they're literally outside of my mailbox. I just have to go get them. But, um, I'm going to keep these ones just, just in case, like if I have people who already know what I do or if I'm just like casually socializing and I don't really like, not say I don't care cause business is business, <laughs> but, and, um, networking is networking, but you know, at a, a event that I'm holding and hosting or like a really important event, I want all the details to be there. But if it's something that, oh, I don't really care about, I'll probably just save these for that reasoning. Or if I ever was to start selling stuff again, I'll probably put these in the bags. Um, but yeah, so I'll just keep those. Um, and one of my best friends brought me flowers because I've just been going through so much, y'all. I need to take this one out because it's from an old set of flowers, the stem. But yeah, she brought me flowers and I was so happy. I need to probably change my water out. It looks a little dirty. But yeah, so pretty. But okay, you guys, so if I do something else, I'll let you guys know. I am getting my hair done. Um, yeah, I'm still at work, y'all know me. Working and working. Um, I'm getting my hair braided to this evening. She was supposed to be here at two, but she's running a little bit behind. So my appointment is probably not going to be till like five o'clock. Honestly, y'all know how that go with hairstylists. I'm not mad at her. I ain't got nothing else to do. So it is what it is. Um, but yeah. Oh, and I didn't show you guys what my mom gave me for Easter. So she gave me a little basket and it was more stuff in here and more decorated but i've been picking through eating all my candy y'all but she just got me a, a cute basket it had the clear wrapper and everything and you know a lot of hello kitty stuff i might have showed you guys already my basket um like that's cute because you know she calls me sunshine different things like that so and got me some sandals but um yeah that's it up y'all hey 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 um so i don't have much time but i'm just gonna go ahead and fill you guys in because i think this is really good and i need to vlog this so um i'm going to the nfl draft party yes i know it was a last minute decision literally like two hours ago i got asked to go um so i really just threw on literally it's cold look it's april but this wind is winding and it's raining so um i threw on this fur over top of, like this silk top I wanted to look a little luxury and some silk pants and then I wanted a pop of color so I did some orange on the heels um because I had to rush and shower and stuff I didn't do my makeup but I feel like if my potential husband is here and if he really loves me for who I am he wouldn't want me in makeup anyway period he gotta love me at my natural state I'm about to be on my Alicia Keys shit I ain't got time for that makeup stuff and I'm going out of town tomorrow so I had to do something quick okay so I just put in some LV earrings. I got the LV bag, umbrella. I done changed up everything. I'm gonna put some Fenty lip gloss on and I'm gonna be out the door. So yeah, I'm not stressing, but I know I look good. So, hmm. 
but yeah so i will update you guys and try to vlog as much as i can i don't know how the scene is going to be looking so if i don't get much footage or any at all don't be mad but we're going out after that to crew my friend adrian so stay tuned Two red bars, 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 two red bars